It's such a beautiful day here in Brooklyn. I had the most amazing Holy Shift webinar. So if you were there, thank you for being there. Um, thank you for sending me your messages. They've been amazing. L Lorana, is that how you say your name? You tell me how to say your name. Um, already posted that her back pain that she'd had for the past few weeks that has been really excruciating is 90% gone. That's a holy shift, and I was like, that's why it's called holy shift. Um, and messages coming in, people just feeling more relaxed, like they've just shifted to the next level. So I am so happy, and I feel it too, actually. I feel very much like there's been a big shift. So thank you for being there and sharing that with me. One of the things that we talked about that came up in the webinar was about this letting go of the fear of not knowing the answer so that we can actually be in a place of full discovery because if we know the answer already if we know the outcome then we can't discover but it can be so terrifying not to know and you know it's a good example when i do these free webinars and when i do holy shift i'm turning up and not knowing what we're going to do i'm tuning in and there's moments where i'm like i have I don't know what this is, I don't know what's coming up, I don't know where this is going, I don't know the answer. But in that space when you can let go of knowing, let go of your brain's like needing to grasp onto getting it, and just this like depth of letting go that allows this magic to come out and um, that what I do every day and sometimes it can be really scary and particularly when it lasts for a few days like this whole moving thing and my website and it was like is this going to shift already and I could feel it shifting but it took some time like it does sometimes and yeah I wanted to hide under my dining table I should change my dining table you my dining table it's really cool um, and uh, oh yeah, I was gonna tell you about my old move thing, wasn't I? I said, check out my dining table, isn't that cool? So yeah, that's a pretty good table to hide under, I would say. And here's my kitchen. It looks very like my other kitchen, except it's bigger. And look, you can see my old apartment i don't know if you can see through the trees over there is my old apartment which is kind of crazy so yeah i didn't tell you but i should tell you how this whole thing came to be and that was that my landlady at my other place basically told me that she wanted me to move out and the reason she said was because i hadn't cleaned up the hallway which was fair enough on one hand and yet on another hand it was kind of weird and ridiculous and she's a little crazy but she's not because she was perfectly sent from the universe to tell me to go look for an apartment that night because I've been looking for apartments and if you know me I'd always been saying we need to move Eric needs a room and we need more space and I felt like I'd grown out of it a long time ago but I hadn't found a place and I would look and then I would give up and I had all these or I wanted it to be, and I wanted it to be in trees, and I wanted it. I had all these images of how I wanted it to be, and I was like, that's not possible. Uh huh. Be wary when you say that to yourself. Um, I should know better, and luckily I've had lots of sessions to pull apart the parts of me that believed it wasn't possible. Anyway, so my landlady said, you need to leave. Actually, her son told me. Anyway, and so I went on Pad Mapper that night, found this place. It's Natalie, she'd come for a session. Um, I found this place the next day. It is Natalie. Um, I found this place the next day and that was that. Done. It's Natalie. Hey, can I film you? 